Okay, folks, I have something here I think is kind of special. This is a rarity for me because I buy cars and I resell them very quickly and I don't get to know them that well. But this particular vehicle is a 1998 Dodge Durango SLT. I don't know if it's the plus or not. I don't think so because it doesn't have leather, but it's got a lot of options. Now, why do I know this vehicle so well? I bought this truck about a year ago. I put about 6,200 miles on this particular vehicle. I was using this to tow cars with. And I gotta tell you, this is one fantastic running vehicle. Looks good, runs good. I'm trying to think, I don't think of anything negative about this vehicle. Uh, but I would like to show you around. As you can see, first off, no check engine lights, no warning lights. I have really kept up on the service of this vehicle. As you can see, the gate is open and that's why that light's on. I guarantee the four-wheel drive absolutely works in this because I have used it many times in the winter time. The radio, here. As you can see, yep, works exactly as it should. All right, let's do the windows. Uh, right rear, good. Right front, good. Over this way, left rear, no problem. And driver's window, no problem. The mirrors, left. Perfect, right, no problem, okay? Uh, as I, far as I know, the glazing looks, oh wait, no, I see, I must've just gotten out this one. There's a tiny little uh, chip it looks like down there. That might actually even be able to be repaired. Uh, it's an automatic uh, rear view mirror, you know, for day and night. It's got your temperature, compass, trip computer, all that stuff in there. This is your armrest where you can put your CDs, your cassettes as you can see. And it's actually a very clean vehicle, especially considering the mileage, all right? In fact, you probably wanna know that. Let me go down here. 138758. I bought it with 132 on it. Like I said, I put about 6,6200 6, miles on this thing. But I gotta tell you, the way this thing runs and drives and looks inside, you would never guess that mileage, all right? Rear wiper, defogger, factory fog lights, okay? Uh, let's see, as you can see, it's nice and clean inside. It wasn't always that way. I'm pretty much a piggy guy when it comes to the interior of my cars, but we cleaned it up nice. As you can see, floor mats, very nice. Driver's seat, I mean, look, a little wear there, and that's it. I'm telling you, this is one heck of a nice vehicle. All right, power seat, as you can see, does work. Oh, there is one negative thing I can say about the power seat. Let's see if I can make it. It's like when you sit in it, it like moves forward like a 16th of an inch or I don't know, an eighth of an inch. You may not even notice it. I gotta tell you after driving it for a little while, I didn't even notice it anymore. But I like to tell everything I can, because no car is perfect. Oh, and there is one other annoying thing about this vehicle, I gotta tell you. Okay, as you can see, driver's door looks nice and good. But when you pull on it, you gotta give it a good yank. All right, it's a little sticky, especially when it's cold out. Oh, I ran the auto check report on this vehicle. It does have a clean auto check report. All right, Michelin tire up front. I'm gonna give that, that's probably got, say 75% of its tread left. Maybe a little less, a little more. Left rear tire, same as the front. Eh, maybe not as good, but it is a matching tire. Now let's go around to this side and check. Another matching tire. And again, yeah, the, the two rear tires I would say are closer to probably 60 to 65%, but the two front tires are closer to 75%. So obviously, as you can see, Matching tires is a very good sign on a vehicle. The nice alloy rims. Now, going around the body, it's got this nice uh, pewter color. Uh, it's not just silver, it's more of a silver gray shiny. It's beautiful. And you can see on the doors, very nice. No dings, no dents. All right, and look on this side how clean this vehicle is. That's one of the reasons why I chose it as my little tow vehicle for a little while. All right, let's go around the door frame. Go underneath, say, check this out, how clean is it? There is a little bit of scale rust on the bottom as you just saw there, that's like where the frame, or the uh, body pinches together. Very typical, but nothing to really worry about. Okay, here you go, look how clean it is in the back. And now I know some people have ridden in the back because I've actually carried people with me to go pick up cars, but obviously not a lot. Let's go to this door, as you can see, very nice. Okay, this is your right rear quarter panel, as you can see, very nice. Looks like a little rusty bubble there. Up top, here's your roof. 
Now, I'd like to point something out. When I say it's very nice, I'm taking into consideration the age and the mileage. Obviously, if this truck was a year old and it had these things, it wouldn't be considered very nice. But for the age of this vehicle and the mileage, this is very nice. The rear bumper, not all beat up like you would expect. There's the hitch, it does work. It's got the, I think the seven pin connector. All I did was put an adapter for a four pin and it worked fine. Okay, here's the back. That is a fold down. See, these things are ginormous inside. I mean, here's your headliner. This, you pop this up and you can look, there's the tools and everything. I don't know where the jack they hide that. It's probably around here somewhere. Uh, oh, I know it does have a spare tire. I always made sure that, that when I drove it, it had a spare tire because there's nothing worse. You do put your windshield washer fluid in the back here. Okay, I know the rear window defogger works, and I also know the rear wiper works because I have used it many times. Deep tinted glass. Let's come around to this side. You know, a little bit of scratch there. All right, there's a ding right there. But overall, again, very nice and clean. Let's take a little look-see inside here. All right, here's the other side so you can get a good view how nice and clean this thing is. All right, look at this door panel. looks almost brand new. Uh, this door looks like there's a little bit starting right there, which is very typical, and of course, the usual scale rust underneath. All right, coming along this way, I've already showed you that. Mirror's in good shape. All right, a little scratch there. Coming around this way. Now, the only uh, real negative about the body on this is the front bumper. For some reason, Dodges have this incredible ability to rot the front bumper out. So I covered it with some tape and spray painted it. That may not work for you. You may want to put a new bumper on. I don't think it's worth it, but it's up to you. But here, take a look. Even down low, you can see it's not all beat up, gouged up. That's always a bad sign when they're beat up on the bottom. It means they weren't cared for. Now get this. This is kind of interesting. This guy put this uh, air filter, uh, like a K&N type of air filter on it. Normally when people do that and they monkey with these things, they set the check engine light off, but this guy actually did it right. And believe it or not, I can vouch, this does add power to this vehicle. Okay, I guarantee you, if you go back to stock, you'd lo probably lose some horsepower. Okay, let's rev her up and see how she sounds. Now, as you can hear, there are no knocks, no valve taps, no strange noises, and you can actually really hear this. And it does sound kind of cool, you know, when you're driving and you step on it, you can hear it really wah, sucking the air in. Oh, that's the other thing I want to add and let you guys know. Not great gas mileage in this thing. They never did get great gas mileage, and this one doesn't get great gas mileage. But surprisingly enough, even towing a car, it wasn't like six miles to the gallon, you know? I mean, it's not that bad, but it is a V8. Oh, look at this. This is the only negative on the paint. There is some scratches. I don't know if you can see that in the video. Let me try to get a better angle. And I, I, they've been there since I got it. Let's try this guy. I don't know if you can see that or not. You know, and a couple chips in the bumper, of course. But overall, I would give this a B plus as far as the body is concerned. The interior, I would give it an A minus. All right, now, here we go. Let's take her for a spin. Now, when I bought it, it did have a good inspection sticker in it, but like I said, I've been driving it for a year, so that ran out, I think, in last month, month before, something like that. All right, ah, there we go. Okay, this is, I'll tell you, I gotta tell you, this is a very comfortable vehicle to drive. I've actually sat in this thing all day and done several hundred miles with it, and it's not horrible. Okay, let's take it for a spin. It's, it's an enjoyable vehicle to drive, and you feel comfortable and safe. It's a nice, heavy, big vehicle. All right, here we go. Yeah, I had to step on it there, folks. I kind of pulled out in front of somebody. Sorry about that. But as you can see, zip right up to 50 miles an hour. No problem. If you want to get good gas mileage, I would recommend not to be standing on the gas too often uh, because, yeah, it probably won't do you any good, you know? It's, you know, from gas mileage standpoint, I mean... I mean, here we are, we're cruising down the road and it's getting, what, 17? Well, it says 22, but it's probably closer to 16, 17 on the highway. Uh, but you just drive around town and stand on it a lot, it's not even going to get 14. But again, most people don't buy vehicles like this because they want to get great gas mileage. 
you, most people usually have a real purpose for buying a vehicle like this. I know I did. But, you know, it's a vehicle. It can make you feel really secure driving this thing because of the way, you, you know, it's got a lot of steel wrapped around it. Alrighty, let the traffic by. And here we go. We'll head back the other way. Nice smooth shifting transmission. And I'll tell you, it's not too noisy in here as far as like road noise or whatever. It's actually pretty quiet. Oh, there goes my plate. All right, what I'm gonna do is when we get back, there's a uh, vacant lot across the street from my car lot. And I'm gonna pull in here and do a brake test. And simply all that consists of is me pulling into the lot. There's a little patch of loose gravel I find. And I slam on the brakes and let go of the steering wheel. And then we see what happens. It doesn't tell you a lot, but it will tell you if the brakes are any good, if it's got ABS, if that works. It'll tell you if the brake equalization's a mess or not. You know, that sort of thing. It's the best I can do. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pull in here. I pull the camera back. And you'll see when we hit this little patch of gravel, I'll let go to the wheel and... Okay, very good news. Now, I don't know if you guys could hear it, but I don't know if you noticed, the steering wheel did the little jiggly thing. It's supposed to do that. That's a good news. This vehicle does have anti-lock brakes, which in my opinion is one of the best safety features out there. All right, let's test the four-wheel drive. So you guys here, take this plate off now I'm back. Okay, now I know it's hard to tell from the video. Where we're sitting is at a pretty good up angle going up my side driveway. But what I want to do is I'm going to step on the gas. I want you to listen. You'll hear the gravel get kicked up behind me. Let's see if you listen. We're in two-wheel drive. I don't. I hope you could hear that. But you could also see when I stepped on the gas, we barely moved. What you do, it's automatic locking hubs. All you do is pull it back into four high. Okay. It engages. And notice that. See? We moved right out. And most importantly... You didn't hear the gravel spitting up back. And as you can see, four-wheel drive part-time. Now, to put it in four-wheel low, basically the only time you ever need four-wheel low, actually, if you need four-wheel low, you shouldn't be where you are and you shouldn't be driving. But I'm going to show you guys that it works anyway. Okay. Now, I can feel it right now. It's, it also changes the shift points. See? Shift, shift. Perfect. Go backwards. Yeah, this thing, it's really, it, it works well. The four-wheel drive does work perfectly in this. Okay, put it in reverse, make sure we got out of four low. Okay, perfect, see? This is also very nice. Oh, this is on the fly, too. If you're doing like 40 miles an hour and you wanna throw it into four-wheel drive, you can, and you can also put it back into two-wheel drive while you're moving. It's not something you have to stop for, I just did it because it was easier. All right, let's go down here, and I like to show this something to you. And let's see if you guys can see this or not. But if you look, see, those are the, the two skid marks from when we took off in two-wheel drive. Notice there aren't any more. That means the four-wheel drive does operate. Let me put it this way, folks. If you get here to pick this vehicle up, I'm going to make an offer I've never made before. If you get here and pick this vehicle up and this four-wheel drive does not work and this truck doesn't run good, I won't make you take it. Okay? Because I know this vehicle inside and out. And that's why I'm confident enough to be able to say that. All right, let's do a little recap. This is a 1998 Dodge Durango SLT. Again, not sure if it's the SLT Plus or not. It's got 138,759 on the clock, of which I put over 6,000 of those miles on there. Uh, it's got plenty of nice, good equipment. The truck looks good, runs fantastic. I mean, and like I said, I'm really confident in this vehicle. I think whoever purchases this is gonna be really, really happy couple little annoying things I told you about. The door's a little sticky and that's about it. But let me tell you something. You want a nice, safe 4x4 SUV for your family? This is it, baby. This is the one you want. And you can see it is still a really nice looking truck. A lot of people actually prefer the older Durango look to it. And I understand that. All right, folks. Well, as always, I hope this goes to a good home. Thank you.